In this video, we are going to discuss about the RAS system, which is renin angiotensin system or renin angiotensin aldosterone system. It's a hormone regulating pathway that regulates blood pressure, fluid balance, and electrolyte levels. We see the RAS system has two basic steps renin release and angiotensinogen conversion. And then we see the effects of angiotensin 2 and aldosterone. Now let's get to the detailed mechanism. Here we see the two important factors that trigger the ROS. It's hypotension and hypovolemia. The hypotension leads to reduced arterial pressure, that's low BP, whereas hypovolemia leads to dehydration and hemorrhage. Both the events drive a sodium depletion. This sodium depletion is censored by macula densa, a group of cells in kidneys that monitors and senses the changes in composition of tubular fluid. First of all, we see this macula densa drives paracrine signaling to juxtaglomerular cells, where we get the renin release. On the other hand, macula densa activates sympathetic nervous system, where we get the B1 stimulation of juxtaglomerular cells. And upon this stimulation, we get the renin release also. Now from the liver, we get the angiotensinogen enzyme, which is acted upon by this activated renin and cleaves it into angiotensin 1, shown in the diagram. Then this angiotensin 1 is acted upon by ACE enzyme coming from lungs and we get the angiotensin 2. This angiotensin 2 has plethora of effects. First, it does the vasoconstriction. Second, it drives aldosterone secretion from zona glomerulosa. Then we get the increase in SNS activity. Fourth is the thirst mechanism and fifth one is ADH release. We see the vasoconstriction leads to increased peripheral resistance. The increase in SNS activity leads to norepinephrine actions. The thirst mechanism leads to enhanced water uptake. Then ADH drives enhanced water resorption. Now we have the aldosterone secretion from zona glomerulosa. Now this aldosterone that is coming from adrenal glands acts on kidneys, promoting sodium resorption, potassium and proton excretion. So at the end we get the electrolyte balance. Due to this sodium resorption we also get water retention that ultimately leads to increase in blood volume and we get the restoration of blood pressure, that's hemostasis. So ultimately, we see all the things have been normalized. The whole detailed process has been summarized in this flowchart. Now let's see the diseases related to the raw system. First one is hypertension. Second is congestive heart failure. Third is chronic kidney disease. Fourth one is little syndrome. Fifth one is better syndrome. Sixth one is Gittleman syndrome. Seventh one is primary hyperaldosteronism. And eighth one is renal artery stenosis. So this is what the raw system is and the disease is related to this. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me. Work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.